Pep, that looks a, a pretty good three points here tonight. Villa did make a game of it in the second half. Yeah. We're normal with 2 0 and after concede the first goal in the second half, but. Uh, we had to play 43, 45 minutes, but you have to see how we played these 43, 45 minutes with just one, two up front. With uh, playing the same way in the first half, and of course at the end with a with a fullback uh, put the balls in the throw-ins in the box, with Minks, with the tall players, with Watkins, with the other ones, but they defend well. We make an incredible game, incredible, incredible game because I know how good they are. Stephen Gerrard is already a great manager, so uh, I'm there. I know exactly what they want to do. They did it well. A lot of quality, so yeah, more than satisfied for the for the victory today. The second half performance maybe deserved us to take something out of the game. You know, we had the uh, a couple of big moments of the second half, if you like. I thought we lacked a little bit of belief. I thought we were a bit passive in the first 10, 15 minutes of the first half. Um, once, the other players gave Manchester City perhaps a little bit too much respect. Maybe, possibly. maybe in the early stages, but you know that's also a combination of them having top players and a top manager and also a top style as well. So. Um, once we actually got in the game and got a foothold in it, we actually conceded the goal, which was disappointing. But the second goal was the one that we need to look at more carefully because we could have stopped the game high up the pitch. What about your teammates' goal? It was just an outrageous piece of skill, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was indeed. Uh, the full the, the full play was, was, I think, very beautiful to see. I've watched it again, but I guess it was a goal you normally don't see on our team. A uh, counter-attack, but it shows the versatility we, we have and uh, what we're capable of. So victories for all the top uh, three this evening and, and, and City were very impressive at times and, and I suppose actually in many ways the second goal encapsulated everything that they stand for and the way that they play. Yeah, definitely. I think that they were so dominant, dominant from the first whistle and this just, as you say, epitomises their whole philosophy and the way Pep wants to play and they're in their own box here, Mares and Cancelo, and they're so composed. Mares doesn't panic, round the corner, Fernandinho then releases Gabriel Jesus and it's soul destroying when you play against a team like this where you're attacking and in the space of what under 10 seconds yeah. bang goal and that 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 finish i mean that and he was shouting how's your touch how's your and touch, we was yeah. all out of our chair because that that is just a piece of magic and it you was can, pretty good actually. you could watch that all day but yeah. you know you I play you're almost scared to attack this city team because you know if you're not balanced right at the back they're gonna hurt you every time is it is it, it as a central defender under those circumstances, how difficult is it? It must be like, oh, you don't want to attack. Yeah. No, no you, you have to make sure that you're balanced around the halfway line, but it's difficult because you're chasing, you're trying to, you know, impose yourself on the game. Mm. And then they're so quick and so composed that they can just exploit all the space and then you, you end up conceding a goal. And as I say, it's just soul destroying. Yeah, fabulously talented. Villa came back well. They made a real fist of it in the second half, didn't they? They did, they did with their energy, but with their quality as well. They caused City real problems. I agree with Stevie's analysis there. In the second half, they, they can feel themselves a little bit unlucky with that chance, especially from Chukwu Emeka. But what a save from Edison. We, we eulogise about City's front players a lot. And the, the best quality keepers in the world don't have that many saves to make in a game, but when they're called upon, can he produce? And so often he does. We see it with Alisson and we've seen it with Edison yeah. today. It was, um, it was a crucial save. Yeah. We've, we've, we've seen all three tonight. I mean, Chelsea were a little bit below par, but managed a victory. We could get a really exciting title race this season because it's a three-horse race, do you think? Yeah, well, it's, it's exciting as it is right yeah. now. If this continues... Uh, you know, Manchester United might have something to say about it, I don't know, but at the minute, all three look <laughs> so strong. Back. They what, what look about? so strong. New manager, yeah. you know? About Leicester, they not involved, Gary? Uh, <laughs> probably not this season. Nah. You know, they'll, be, they'll, be, they'll be there or thereabouts somewhere. Uh, no ground has uh, seen fewer goals than St Mary's this season. Southampton, Leicester, 